If you're still around, if you're not, don't worry about it. Um, but just a short um, explanation um, with that last live session is that um, we've got to do it on StreamYard. The inquiry does this thing different. We couldn't get cursed in the box at the same time. Um, so any of those questions that you were asking me that we couldn't see, I um, apologise about that. Um, but let me know if you want to come up quickly and ask me some of the things that you wanted to ask me, if you get what I mean. So I'm here. And if no one's here, then don't worry about it. <laughs> I just felt it was my duty uh, to make sure you get your same things. All right. So. Oh, God, man. God. Never goes according to plan. Sometimes more preparation and more. Um, how can we put it? Um, Oh, Derek, nice one, son. <laughs> yeah, did you just see that live? JJ, nice one, son. Yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. Um, I don't know. Never, never happened that way before. Nice one, Radio. Yes, Radio Peace, my boy. Dream Team. Yeah, good. Yeah, Gary Taylor. Yeah, I was in his. Um, I was in his um, powerlifting thing. Um, going to be. So we was basically um, George, Uncle George. I know. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> That's the inquiry for you. <laughs> uh, but like he just said, it's not um, really... It we, we needed to do it a little bit more better than that, John Little. Sean Newton, nice of you. Lot. Oh, good. Look, look, George. Um, Radio, big up, boy. Um, Sean Newton, I hope you're right. Dorian, yeah, bad, bad. So, sad state of affairs. Darren, I might go down there, you know, in a few weeks. Stevie, boy, um, you look after things um, if you want. Oh, Scott, you're here. Nice one. James Bracken, loads of love, but no, we couldn't. It was, <laughs> this was the first time for everything with the stream yard, and we got that wrong. A Savage, of course. Bob's your uncle. Jimmy White, nice to have you in here again. So basically, any of the questions there. Free Jason Moore, always. <laughs> Kirsty, I, I was just going to get her back up and do it in a different way. I think the link was sent in the wrong way on that last bit. Um, yeah, well, no, nah, I got rid of it. I got rid of it, Fran, because not suitable enough. Neil, I'm here now. So all the questions, even though, God, that was a lot of energy. Yeah, there was a good discussion as well on a different level. Nice one, Jason Guffrey. Uh, I may be interviewed. Yeah, what we're going to do, right, JJ, is that when the Terry Stone interview comes out, which shouldn't be too long now, um, I spoke about Carl Leach in that in more, um, in better terms, if you get what I mean. Um, all right, I, I touched on the Mahoney stuff a bit too much in the Terry Stone thing. Is Terry will do it the way that he does it. Um, you know, there's a lot of politics around it, everything around it. It's nothing to do with Uncle Yami. But I kept it real, JJ, um, to what I'd heard about Carlton Leach. And what I basically said on Terry Stone is I heard a lot more about Carlton Leach in the prison system than I did about, you know, some of the others that um, he's fallen out with. So I just kept it real that way. Um, yeah, the bot A Savage, the boxing, Leon Phillips. Um, Neil, yeah, you did say it might have been a little bit scripted last night on Banged Up. Um, but ultimately, it's more of a case, Neil, I suggest, of the highlighting um, so that the message is, you know, quite clear whether some bits come across a bit acting. Um, in, in, in reality, it's got the same kind of uh, message out to people that, you know, these are the kind of things you've got to expect in a prison environment. So it's got its good thing as well. Yeah, yeah, everything's well, Leo. I've never been well, to be honest, my boy. Yeah, very pleased with things at the moment and long may they continue but that was a basic introduction to the inquirer coming on the channel um and his as well where we go into the hardest the baddest you know the outside fighters to the inside fighters and that side of stuff after all he was a boxer as well um um the inquirer so we've got more stuff coming there but more of that kind of stuff more the prevention of going to those places and what to expect and the realities of back then and now and what it all means as you know some of us get older and the, the kind of things yep yeah, bob's your uncle i'll be pleased to hear that um with mickey Steele. Uh, because it doesn't hold any value uh, to be holding him like that, uh, especially at that age as well, with the amount of custody he served as well. I've got my own theories on, you know, the participants in, you know, obviously, the Essex thing. You know, my things um, chopped and swayed over the, the months and years since I've been out. Um, I think now mentally I'm in a better position um, to give, you know, my opinion on what it was but yeah no i'll be very glad to hear that and i think it's only right bob's your uncle mo 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mo. We have to. We have got so Uncle Yami's got his job to do, and at the end of the day, we know where it's left a lot of us living that life um, in the way that we did it. There's no winners um, at the end of it. I'm afraid, no matter how you know some people portray um, true crime and that nice one, um, Stevie Boy. Nice to have you in here as well. But yeah, that's probably Bob's your uncle. Hopes all well down there, Sean Newton. I hope your recovery and. You know, those injuries, um, they're getting a bit better. I haven't checked in with you um, with that um, subject matter for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, we back because it didn't really work out on and Prosper. Um, we, well, I wanted Kirsty in the, more in the box at the same time and in the way that we normally do it. But um, the Inquirer does it normally on StreamYard and wanted to do it that way, but it was too short notice to get it all together. So you know what? We come back again and we do it proper. There'll be other episodes to bang up and we'll give more feedback on it. Um, make of gangster rapper Jim McCann from Salford, who recently done an interview. Yeah, I I don't I think Jordan McCann's been quite honest to be honest, and he was on um. I swear I saw him on um, Young Spray's podcast as well. Um, you know, people are going to pour scorn on his life and um, whatnot. But my opinion is it, it's his story. And I thought he came across all right, to be honest. Um, Andrew, nice one. No, I never knew Billy. I don't think I, I met Billy Jasper, Andrew. No, I don't think I did. No. Uh, Richie Rich. Yes, yeah, so sorry, I couldn't read none of the comments. So that was a new thing. So it definitely wasn't my way of doing things and, and seeing it. To see all those comments coming through and I won't be able to give an answer at the end of it. I have to uh, do my duty and come back up. And some of you, I missed, I missed the question. So if you want to answer them now for half hour, we can do that. Or we can just go into um, us lot in general and what's going on with you lot, if you get what I mean. Uh, but YouTube channel, yeah, yeah. I oh, He's lived that life. He's come out the other end. What more is there to say, really? Maybe you can come on Uncle Yami on Yami B T V. Mm, what do you mean, Scott? Yeah, nice one, T Fresh. It was a pleasure. Um, Gavin, nice one as well. Um, nah, well, it, it, if it can't be my camera lens now, can it, Scott Wilson? Because I can read the messages now. So it can't be that, can it? So it must be, you know, because of the interaction with the way it was set out with the Inquirer, because I can read everything now. Mm. Yeah, um, Brian Richardson might be coming on mine in the next three weeks as well. I'm out and about by Friday, Saturday again, just to let you know, Neil. Craig Roth, Carlton isn't being... Yeah, but Neil, um, let's see what Brian Richardson has got to say when he comes on the show. Uh, what does he mean by the truth and not being you know, um, um, thing and all that? So I, I can only do do it in the way that I do it, hear what he's got to say, and then I will point out um, for the viewers in what I believe Colton Leach, you know, says that's quite right and maybe things that he doesn't, you know, but at the end of the day, I wasn't there, was I? So David Wardle, yeah, really well, nice one. Can you talk how I could talk David Wardle? Oh, God. Yeah, it's fair to say about 36, yeah, possibly 37 in total from 13, 14 years old. You remember I've been out nearly four years um, since March. Uh, in this March coming, the day of lockdown, I got out when the COVID thing came. Angel, nice one, my boy. Kenzie, loads of love, Angel. Um, been, really been very, very hard. Um, David Waddle. Um, but yeah, now the longest before this spell that I've been out now without committing a crime would have only been five months at given any given one time. Underneath the five months, three months, a month, in between sentences, six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, that kind of journey, I'm afraid. Yeah. Patsy, nice one. Big up down here in the southeast. Um, Jason Moore is innocent and we will be definitely getting him out at some stage. Um, dirty, selfish. <laughs> it's a huge act, huge act to do. You know what I mean? At the best of times, uh, but it takes some doing, dude. Selfish. Pff, what does he know that we don't? How does he? What does he feel that we that we're not feeling? 
the lowest moments, mental health and what we feel about ourselves. Um, Dutty, who's to say, you know, what, whatever, we've all been down. I've been close to it myself, as many of us have on Yami B TV. And suicide's a very, very tragic thing. So whatever he was processing or going through, he called time on it. Um, nice one, um, the guy. Disco. Yeah. Okay. Again, but okay, you're home now. Great news. Yeah, Disco. Much love to you, my little angel. I love you dearly, you know that. Yeah, you look after Disco in there, Kenzie. It's my girl, that. Um, real sweetie. Yeah, yeah, life's so calm at the moment, if you get what I mean. Uh, I know, sure, the day they were putting the notes, um, the, the notifications under the prison doors in Wandsworth was the day I got released. Imagine that. Yes, yes, Victor. Um, Empress, good, um, much love to you. Wake up for a second and think, I wait, Matt Carter. <laughs> I don't know when I was on and off drugs. It felt like I don't know. It felt like I was still running about the landings, except that I wasn't a criminal when I was going here, there, and everywhere when I first came out. But oh god, just the feeling of it, Matt, is very, very um, disheartening for me. Foot God, nice one, son. Nice to have you in the chat. All right. No, Matt Carter, I'm scared of those places. I'm glad I never went on that program, banged up. Wouldn't have been, it might have suited the Yami B character back in the day and I could have played up for the cameras and that kind of stuff. It might have been entertaining, but would it have been good for my soul? David Lloyd, nice one. Yeah, you too, David Lloyd. Always a pleasure, my boy. Your input's always vital as well. Marina, loads of love, my darling sister. Love you dearly. Uh, Benji, nice to have you in here as well. So at least I can see the bloody comments now. Gordon Bennett, man. Um, gonna pick the kids up. Nice, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, catch me. I might come and do a video after. Out of the celebs, which one would you like to have been put in there with? I don't mind Ricky Butcher, to be honest. Um, DMP, I could, I stomach Jeffrey Archer. I probably wouldn't have mind. I've had, I've, you know, when you're used to all kind of characters, I think the MP, I would have tolerated him because you know what I'm like. I would have looking, been looking for an end result somewhere. But Neil, I think with me, I, with, if you're different from the life and the people that I'm so used to from that life, then seeing those, I look at it as more knowledgeable, say, as Kevin Lane would. Um, I find them quite funny with the, the outbursts and the outspokenness I've met over the years from some men that just don't understand that they're in a very, very sticky situation, um, to be brutally honest. Yes, yes. Yeah, Kirsty Moore, nice one, Angel. Um, I had to answer a question. Kirsty, it was done. Like, next time we do it, the banged up thing, we'll do it. We'll have it set out properly. That's the best that I could do. The end result. Wait, Richie, but you know, I would have been thinking, well, do you know what you got? How much? You know, I mean, I'll look after you. Whatever was would have been going through my mind at that time. Um, nice one, Peter Deval. Nice one. Um, but that's the reality. Um, the inquirer there, we've got a lot of um stuff to bring to the table there. It's very knowledgeable, is the inquirer. And we're, there's gonna be more on that on the subjects that you lot want. So we could pick one, you know, the hardest fighters, whatever, whatever way you want to do it. You just let me know and me and him will do the old one too. Possibly have Matt Leg in there as well. Uh, nice one, Gary A. I know, I know. We've got to say, we've got to be pleased at the position we've been in the last months. It's been a bit of a, a spiritual awakening, you know, feelings, thoughts. Very different from the last so three years or so. Um, other things become apparent um, with people. All them long term jails, full certain. Wyatt Moore, Franklin, rest of them seventeen years, and now I have been out ten years. Great stuff, David Wardle. What was it? See, but I haven't found the right partner yet, Dave Wardle. <laughs> That's been very difficult for me, relationships and new experiences, especially since you got, got clean, all your sexual awareness comes back and all that. I've had to go through so many different stages out here. Honestly, I'm not sure who I fancy, to be honest, um, but I'm working it all out, if you get what I mean. Malcolm Price, Fats Benji, we'll talk about that. I might get you on the show to talk Malcolm Price. I've got peace as well um, that is, is around um, the fight and stuff in Wales as well. So we've got all that to come. I know you're going for Everyone's going turkey at the moment. Funny enough, Victor. Big love to the missus. And I hope the boy's all right as well, Victor. And, you know, bless him on his journey and hoping his recovery takes place. I was in from behind doors. I think should have took... 
I started to appear times, I felt, oh, hey, Kenzie, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Mm. You think YouTube and your followers have helped keep me honest? Mm, they've helped me, Neil, uh, which is why I still law to my beloved ones that have always been up here for me and the, uh, the responsibility um, gives me more power, more strength to stay on the straight and narrow. Now I've reached this stage and to go backwards ain't really an option no more. We've been through those hurdles and demons. We know what they mean by now. They're not going to offer nothing by way of progress for me and my own health and my own mental well-being and my spiritual well-being, Neil. But I, I, I hold up for my followers, my beloved ones who have been there since the crack of dawn. Um, that have stayed with me and believed in me. And if you believed in Uncle Yami, I will believe in you when a going is going to get good and it will get good. Yeah, Disco? It's definitely... <laughs> I Disco. <laughs> we'll go in there. Oh, yeah, Disco. Yeah, yeah, she's from down there as well, um, Benji. Yes, Gavin. In time, boy. Whatever you're going through, you know now's the time for you to come in. And you ask Uncle Yam, even though I'm a bit drained from that live that went really well, Israel is going to go on Mars. <laughs> well, he's done. He's still, he still knows the streets, though, did not he? He still knows the streets. Come on, uh, Gav. We've got, we've got to love Uncle Ray. You know what I mean? For whatever it means to some. You know what I mean? You've got to, you got to take it. I find him quite funny, to be honest, sometimes, Uncle Ray. Um, have you been... Probably... Four, four and a half months, David Waddell, off drugs, right? Off A-class hard substances. Um, still had the odd drink here and there, but even that started to wear itself in with me. Started to not like that as well. And that wasn't really my thing, David Waddell. So everything I'm going through now, um, each step along the way, I start going, nah, 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 nah. It's not the same feeling of um, thinking for me no more. Um, very good question. Thank you, David Waddell, yeah. Mark Smith, you think celebs in jail who coped, who didn't for? Yes, Mark Smith. I thought Archer did all right. I've got to be honest, because he was strutting his stuff around the yard in Belmarsh. He got out of there quite quickly, but he didn't look um, in, in the slightest overawed by what was happening to him. I fancy my man last night would have been in a bit of trouble, though, in reality. Oh, hey, great on. <laughs> Boy, oh, everybody does it a little way different. Great honour. Um, I mean, how... <laughs> <With> the... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I took Brian Cockerell there. I've got to be honest. I don't think Francis Ogarno would take on the break. Great Brian Cockerell. Um, I think Brian Cock Cockerell will find a way out. <laughs> I think Brian Cockerell will find a way for victory, don't you, Hemi? Hemi, you kill me, you know. Good. It, I Neil, got to be honest, isn't it? And that, you Neil, you know my character. That lifts me up even more for those. Because you know I'm a big crowd pleaser, all at least for myself, Neil. But we've got to be honest, we know that that makes me stand up a bit stronger. So we have to give credit to the beloved followers. You have to. Uh, which is a, oh, hey, nice one. Pee pee, nice one, boy. Yeah, it's feeling mutual. NUFC, another man. Archer made, yeah, Archer would have been able to tell the prison stories, wouldn't he? I, mean, I wonder if he told the story about when I moved his hand in for the watch, the Jaeger Lakuta. Yeah, he didn't tell that one, did he? He went like that, though. You remember, he went, excuse me. Yeah, he weren't having it. Danny Shaw, nice one, son. Yeah, Gavin. Gavin, sweet tea. I wasn't going to say, but I had a bad bout. Doubt you say, but I'm going for him, man. Oh, hey, sweet tea. Sweet tea. I know what that felt. I felt like that over the weekend. That's why I didn't come. I was feeling really... So all these new feet. I know exactly what you mean. It's very difficult, isn't it? When you, you don't feel your normal self. It's funny. We're only human. It's things that have happened, you know, especially clean time as well. Uncharted territory. Um, thinking, you know what I mean? Looking back, reflecting, all these things, they matter. Nice one. Les, nice one, my boy. Tony's all, Tony's all right. I got, um, I think Sister Lisa phoned me two days ago. He was all right. He was out to dinner somewhere. Um, Tony's probably be on the show, probably be around there for Christmas, around about that time, maybe New Year. Um, but at the moment, like I told you, I've been just doing me, I'm afraid. Um, I've got to. I need your people. I need them too. <laughs> I think the world don't wear them, but someone suggested that I might need them. Get, I wonder if he's ever met. 
Yeah, but I don't, he wasn't that kind of character, Mark Smith. But I kind of liked him, but they, them little things, a bit pompous and stuck up himself. But he never, he was walking around the yard on his own. People were trying to get attached to him as well. Mm, no. Uncle Yami says, um, Jeffrey Archer, in some ways, represented his, his position. Mm. Oh, yeah, nice one, Howard. I had to. I had to because the message, I don't want it to be that I do a live and I can't see the comments and messages from the one earlier on, which I had to take down now because it wasn't done in a professional way, but it's a warm-up. So next time we'll do it stream StreamYard with Inquirer and Kirsty Moore. Uh, yeah, the great honour. Have you seen the documentary? Sorry. No, don't worry about looking for the cop that come back to that one with me, um, great honour. Uh was he Benji? Interesting. I wonder what, what bits you can tell us about that when you come on the show or when we discuss things. Kenzie. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kenzie. He was not, I never met him, but obviously I heard a lot about him. Oh, hey, sweet tea. He does, don't, you get, don't, when it's like that, just lie down. Don't go anywhere. Just, just think to yourself, what am I thinking here? Process it. Have you felt that way before? What was the after feelings before? And know that you came out of it before. And then whatever you do, don't react in any way until those feelings have subsided. That would be my best advice. Disco, oh God, you've got some stories, you. Oh, hey, there you are. Look, the great Disco. She's very, very knowledgeable there. Howard Marks met a lot of people along the way. Uncle Yummy. <laughs> oh, Kenzie. <laughs> Kenzie, don't make me laugh. Uh, you only saying that because I've been clean lately and all the wrinkles have gone, Kenzie. Down my ass, kid. Peace, man. Just... Yeah, no, um, peace. That one didn't really work out, uh, but it was great knowledge, um, me asking the questions there. Um, so I had to come back up and see many of you that were in the chat, if you're still in the chat, that you could come and do some talking. I mean, I had a, I had a yes, is it N? Too many. N, USC, that's a warning, please. Be very, very careful. I was in an ambulance a few months ago. I told you it's very, very dangerous and you deserve much better. It doesn't serve no purpose for you. You're playing Russian roulette. It's not the same as it once was for us. Um, and in that way, it wasn't the right moves that we made anyway. You be careful. That's a warning. You get them. Not many people listen to those warnings, but I'm telling you, listen to those warnings. Yeah? Uh, Neil? Is it? Peace. Yeah, we kept on the topic, but, you know, it's very... I wanted to... Uh, come into society with no guarantee. Mm, Martin John, good. It's very hard. We're going to get round to these subjects, Martin John. Very good question. It's very hard. Do people going to judge you. Whatever it is you've done, they're gonna you're gonna get. There's always work now for ex offenders because there's all kind of jobs on offer if you get what I mean. Because there's more um, companies or places you can go to where they've got places that take ex offenders. Back in the day, it was much harder. Yeah, nice one, PP. Nah, not nah, PP. I was on and off changing substances because that one I couldn't manage them more. So then I went to that one and I didn't, I didn't find no fulfillment or love in it in any way, right? So I worked out decision-making wise that it would only, only be doing the same things it always did to me, even in those short periods in, outside um, of custody back in the day. I never really enjoyed it. Can't really say you enjoy that feeling even while you're doing it, there might be, but afterwards, ultimately, um, you know, yeah, N, N UFC. It's very good. Yeah, but be careful. N U, you've got to get that ice to go weeks without. Don't do it. You know, the body in the end breaks down. He will fight because he's asking the questions. 
he will um, binge. Yeah, good man. Everyone's going through their little struggles still. I'm just, you know, I do the best with what I've got. Um, it's unfolding. And remember this, you lot, if I can do it, uh, many of you can. You know what I mean? You've had more outside time than me. You've gone over the same things time and time again. Um, I did it for a little while. It's a no-no for me now in later life. So for many of you that you have been in it longer on the outside than me for longer, longer periods. It's much more difficult, but at the same time, you don't really like it. You don't. There's nothing wrong with being yourselves. Remember that, yeah? And I'll be good, I'm telling you. Um, I know, I know, it sounds a bit frightening there. Uh, if I'm on the... Someone, did they send it to me? I wish it will. Make um W, yeah. Get that to me. Send that link over. I'm sure someone sent me that thing with the detectives. It might have been a different one, but tell me. It's hard to get clean. Yeah, but Gav, you only get what you're looking for. And I mean, at the end of the day, whatever other people are doing, it doesn't mean that you have to. You have to know what you're feeling like. If you don't, if you're going to enjoy it and you think, well, I don't care and you're going to take that kind of um, thing, it's not going to work out for you. But ultimately, at the end of a night, especially on the white session, if you're going to do the dark as well, whether it's tablets, whether it's weed, whether it's whatever, whatever, everyone to their own thing. But at some stage, you're still going to wake up. You're still going to wake up and you're going to be twitching and you're going to be needing it. Grimsby, nice one, son. Um, it does start in the mind, on our. You have to be over it you have to make those decisions where it's a non-starter you don't really need it there's many other things for you to do um day in and day out it doesn't have to be a one obviously he's just said are oh, you gav all right my boy um if you want lloyd nice one my boy great singer at the concert the other day that was bloody good thank you for that lloyd it was a great night at the albert hall you know my first ever concert soul to soul um, I was with my bodyguard there, big security, Lloyd. Oh, it was good in there, trust me. Good atmosphere, good vibe, no trouble whatsoever. Matt, it only happens when you, you need... Oh, hey, Matt Carter, you've got to want to and you've got to have to. Um, enough's enough. This is what I say. You've got to wake, you've got to say, well, it doesn't interest me. It doesn't do anything for me. I've got, I want a different change at the end of life or for after it. And after, pink cloud and all that, all exciting. We went through those stages. But Uncle Yami says that the longer that it went on, the more reality sets in of what it really means being substance free. Yeah. Irish Blue Eyes, nice to hear from you. The great Popeye. Exactly, Popeye. You have to learn, you have to do a long period first. Before you make any decisions about going back to it, you have to know what it feels like first. Otherwise, it would always be I do it for a month, six weeks, and then go, oh, I do, oh it's over. It's not how it felt when I first got clean. Now, but the, what it's really saying to you is that life's really like that. It settles down, the calm after the storm, and you start thinking and processing regrets, um, hating yourself. Oh, the security, Golden Bennett. The Russian lady kept starting on me, innit, Lloyd? Why is it? They always want to, the ladies always want to start on Uncle Yanni. Uh, but it was funny what I did near the end there. I don't think she was too pleased. I, hey, Martin. I right, John. <laughs> what a waste of time. And what about the existence? And what we want for ourselves and more? Just to shut out what? To shut out what we could really deal with if we was in, you know, real, real clean time. Because what bothers us, uh, bothers us with the heightens of the ups and downs with the physical change, the mental emotions of being on it, coming off it, the trigger in the genes and all that. You never quite know what you who you really are until you do a few months. And then you think, well, hold on, that problem wasn't that big. It was big because I wasn't processing properly because I was out my nut or I was coming off stuff. Um, a lot of stuff has become apparent in the last um, few months. But the, the main thing is, no matter how you feel, feel um, there's going to be many, many down days. And we don't understand sometimes why we're even down when you're clean. And then you still think, well, you know, the main thing is, I'm not going to go back there because you know that that's not going to solve anything. It's not. So it might be, you might think, or it might, I don't get many thoughts, but I just think it's a no-no. But I do say to myself, well, good, yeah, you ain't, it's no, well, the one thing that's definitely not an option is I don't pick up and use. It's simple as that. Yeah. Oi, the, oh, she started, I don't know. Everywhere I was going, she was there. 
I was walking around with my big mac on, with my big um, coat on, Lloyd. Oh, it was funny, wasn't it? Neil, it was funny. Then I went through the door, I played the trick on, I played the trick on the end because I was standing up doing a video in of Soul to Soul. And then she goes, you can't, she come and said, you can't stand on the steps. But when another man did it, she didn't say nothing to him. So I said, nah, I said, I've got injuries and that. I've got to keep moving about. Otherwise I'm going to fall. I said, do you really want me to walk down the stairs? There's a possibility I might drop. She goes, oh no, come and sit here. And there's a chair there. I thought, oh dear. Yeah, you're worried about that bit because you don't want no compensation coming away. Um, yeah. I fell off the wagon so many times before. Event. That's Matt Carter. It does, doesn't it? Who can't hear must feel. And then you, you because that means that you kept trying. That's what the importance of always keep knocking at the door. And it can get demoralizing when you keep failing um, and going back to the same old things. And you, then you just go, oh, F off, man. PP. Yeah, good, good advice. It won't solve anything, Irish Blue Eyes. It's not going to be me now. If anything, you're going to feel that the next day, oh, I went and done that. Just because and then you've done that bit before, then you're going to feel that too. Yeah. Oi, Disco Beaver. Mm. What are you suggesting, Disco? I thought you said you was coming for me. What are you changed now? Lloyd. And it, Rushy Lloyd was there. I know, and then I went outside and there was a good crowd there, you know. Mm. You need Popeye. But rock bottom, it is, it's always rock bottom when you do it. Anyway, if you do it for a certain period of time or no time at all, you, the minute you pick up, you just, it's rock bottom. It's rock bottom because if you've got the knowledge of where it's heading, it's just said and done. I know, we do it, we do it. Yeah, Martin John, yeah, 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 Howard John. Good, um, Martin John, good points. Disco, now, now. All right, make up your mind. All right, darling. I'm glad to see you laughing, Angel. My G, we're still laughing in hospital, Gordon Bennett. Man, what an inspiration you are. Yeah, oi, Lloyd, I know, I know. I was in a bit of a gaze. The, the atmosphere was like, I know. Next time I go to a concert, I'll be going onto the dance floor. Um, the seats were above it. So, you know, it didn't, but I know, like everything else, like today with the live stream, we learn each time as it goes along. Um, Flash, nice one. You too, boy. Yeah, I hope you're all right. Yeah, yeah. They used to, Soul to Soul made it a bit... They killed them, they dulled the vibes a little bit at the end, really. Um, everybody's, no one wanted to dance because they kept changing the tempo of the music. Uh, Benji, yeah. Yeah, but you, Benji, it, it's too risky, it's too Russian roulette -y, and you just don't know what they're putting in it. You've got people that put anything in those things. I wouldn't trust none of them. Fire fixation. The same way, Yami, incoming for you. Is it? Oi, 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 fire's fixed up, baby, laugh. Yeah, disco. Oi, disco, you know me. It's music now, straight away. As the day starts, is the best best way, in it? Angel, and then you know the spirit. You get used to those feelings, normal day-to-day -day of meeting someone. You're not so hyper and chaotic, and your genes are kind of evened out a little bit, and your real self, and... You know, just be nice and just cool and let people talk. And we learn all these things as time goes along, man. I look back and I think I was a raving lunatic. Uh, no, but was reinforced by putting things in our systems. Um, oh, you talk, oh, I thought you were talking to me there, Disco. You need, you've got to do you. That's what you're saying, Louis. The other day while I was sitting down, you've all got to do you. Not, don't worry about what they're all doing and go there. You're going to find exactly what you always found when you go to certain places and see certain people. And it's sad, you know what I mean, that they... Because in that life, I'll tell you what, everybody needs you to be the same as them. Otherwise, they're going to feel bad about themselves even more. I tried to tell you lot the other day. It's no point with me going to a place where I love everybody, but they're still having a sniff or they're still doing drugs and I'll be the odd one out because they'll feel like, oh, I ain't doing it too then. You know what I mean? Because they start feeling left behind. It's not their fault, but this is what addiction does. Yeah? I listen to the Rare Greaves. I go to old um, soul 70s R&B, old R&Bs, 80s, 90s. Um, I go to all the jazz, the blues. I go for all the, the deep stuff, the sad stuff, the happy tunes. I go for a bit of everything, to be honest. Nice Henry Clark, big love to you down there. 
I was, Adrian, I was, um, I was going to, but I wouldn't have been ready because now I look back of the up and downs of three weeks clean and I'll go back on job security. It's upset. You wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been my true self. And Adrian, to be perfectly honest, I don't think I would have managed. I think going behind the, the prison doors and walls, no matter how strong, I tell you, even now, I don't think it would be suitable for me. I could slip into character. But I don't, I think the reality of having that door slammed, especially when I don't even think about it no more, will be it home to me and make me think about it again. I don't want to feel that institutionalised closed um, door thing. Yeah, nice one, Ed. Ed with Doubtfire, nice one. No, but that's the reality of it. Gone off it. Gone off feeling like it'd be a deep sinking feeling, wouldn't it, Adrian, for me to feel that, even if it's pretend. You know what I mean? So, no, I don't think it would have been suitable for the entertainment if I was in there and we could be in the jungle again. Wayne, what he said was, um, how do I feel about Mickey Steele being downgraded um, at last or something like that to be coming out the category A system, hopefully to get some kind of release soon like everybody else. I think that was a, the, the nitty gritty of it. Yeah. Sunday evening, IPP, in the old days, I think I went outside the fridge once, but I never really, I've been Brixton lately, my nephew Quincy, and it's all changed around here now, it's really multicultural, um, bits of yuppie fight in Brixton then, I say, uh, but back in the day, it wasn't always like that, there was a lot of no-go zones down there, it doesn't, it doesn't give me the same impression um, today, if you get what I mean, uh, nice one, Medusa, loads of love, hope you're right down there, and the family, etc. Um, what else? Um, no, no, I think that's about good, good love. Anyone else um, who need a bit of... Yeah. No, I never went there, PP. I never went there. I was going places like Plato Road in the 80s. I think I went to Stepper's Wine Bar in the early days as well. I was going to all the... the <laughs> I was going to the places where it was... Just, I looked, it looked completely odd for me, if you get what I mean. See what I mean, Henry? Henry, but many a time you go back and then each time, you know what it does in the end, Henry? You go like that, all right, I'm going to catch you next time. I feel like that. You remember the Matt? Oh, no, I wish I would have seen them near all the specials around about that time. Yeah. Oi, Henry, you'll have it. If that's how you're feeling, you'll, have, you'll beat it. You'll have it because that means that you just don't. It's too many times, isn't it, Henry? That you just go, oh, Gilda Benny. And what are you, what are you really going to expect? It's normally when you feel, whoa, whoa. you can never be ready for it. You can never be ready for what's coming from that stuff. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, great honor. They took me there where they get um, things that clean out your insides or something. I sure I went there with Quincy. Um, it was a good shop. Yeah, they had many things, but I didn't try anything. But there are new things. I think there was, um, I forgot, the alkaline or something like that in there. Am I right? That's where that they got all them little bits down there. Yeah, yeah, it looks really, it was like a, a calf kind of thing. I'd never seen one before, but I remember going to there last year. Yeah, you're quite right. I know, I know exactly where you're talking, PP. I know where he's talking. I know where he's talking. Yeah. I saw a couple of people I got recognised. Well, again, I got recognised a few places. Um, yeah, great honour. There was some... I know. I know Quincy's into all that health um, cleaning stuff. Um, I forgot the names of the other things. You don't know what I'm like anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nil, nil, uh, brilliant. But there, it was funny. It was funny the banged up program last night. Though it's different. It's, you, you you get it kind of way. Yeah, yeah. Luke, nice one, Luke. Luke P. Hope you're right down there too. Um, and if you come in late, Gordon Bennett. So, all right, yeah. Say there, Lloyd. Let's have a it can be, I don't know anyone who likes. In it, Lloyd. I mean, <laughs> Lloyd. You do. I remember in the old days, you just go, yeah, go like that. But really, in reality, when it sinks to that, it makes friends turn into enemies, Henry. 
as well. Lloyd, you start with you know, everybody loved each other to start with, and then when it's finished and all that. So many different ways to 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 look at it that really ultimately tell you that it doesn't bring about a good even beginning, never mind the ending of a night session. You're always gonna feel what you always felt. Yeah, Ricky, Ricky was all right, he held his own, didn't he? Um he was who he said he was, so he didn't change nothing about himself, really, literally. Any, yeah, yeah, I was going to come up later on tonight, but after doing that one earlier with the Inquirer, um, yeah, nah, um, I might do a video this evening for you all. No, I might go on TikTok, let me see, but at least I've got some work out today. Sorry about what took place this afternoon. Um, Lloyd, good to see you. Nice one, Scott. Um, not Edward, yeah, but there's many of those in prison that you can run rings about um, around. When you think of it, Eddie, it's funny, isn't it? When you think, well, I'll have him, I'll pull him this way and that way, they'd they be, and then they learned, didn't they? Oh, I won't fall for that one again. Yeah. Peace, man. Do you, Ed? Nice one, Edward. Doubt fire. I oh, know, I oh, know, we keep it, we keep it to the way we've always kept it, back in the days of. Oh, the days of all of it. All of it is a false sense of feeling that makes you think you love someone for one minute or two minutes and then you regret what you say. I'm afraid so, man. The one thing you lot didn't tell me about, um, ladies, excuse me, is that I would be, you think that you're doing things when you're on drugs and you think it heightens your sexual awareness when in reality it's when you're clean, you're at your best. Gordon Bennett, man. I think mine's grown about 10 inches since I've been clean. I never knew it could go like that because it's never, it's never been that long. It was all a myth. Don't listen to it all. You're better off as you are because you experience real feelings and blah, blah, blah. It was going out. It's been going out of control. It's been, been hurting. Gordon Bennett, it's madness, Edward. I've been thinking, Gordon Bennett, Uncle Yummy, what's going on? It's just, it's weird how everything starts working a bit funny. Oi, disco, it's mad, it's deep. I was thinking, Gordon Bennett, yeah, I mean, all that time you're doing all that and thinking, oh, the fantasy and all that, oh, this will make it feel like that, when really it just shrivels up, nothing never really happened, you see what I mean? That was the reality, it was a muggy turnout, mate, you know what I mean, we should have just left it as it was, and now I think, well, Gordon Bennett, yeah, I'll let me watch this one, and da -da -da -da. Gordon Bennett, mate, I'm telling you, oi, Matt, it's mad, isn't it? I had no control. Gordon Bennett, they're going to say some bad things about me, you know, Uncle Yami. I'm telling you, but hey, I didn't start anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish you lot would have warned me about that bit. No wonder they used to say in rehabs, I didn't go to one, but they said when everyone used to get clean, they used to get caught in the toilets together, the mixed rehabs and all that. I should have listened, Lloyd. Lloyd knows, isn't it, Lloyd? Gordon Bennett, man. It's madness, everything, because you're not used to doing it that way. Medusa, it's been crackers, thank God I never went here, there and everywhere, boy. Um, but my behaviour was a bit strange, though. Gordon Bennett, mate, you can get nicked uh, walking down the street if it coming out of your trousers like that. Fucking hell, mate. And then before, I couldn't even find it. You know, it's mad, isn't it? And then you start looking and you think, oh, that looks nice. You start thinking all kind of, and it moves. It never used to move like that before, I'll tell you that for one. Martin, did you? <laughs> I can't see. I swear to God. I never used to go like that and go like that and then it go and it moved. That was when I was younger. Gordon Bennett, we got a good future. If it continues that way, disco, Gordon Bennett, man. PP deep. I'm telling you, don't be conned. Buy stuff. Because if you take the downers, it suppresses it. If you take the uppers, you start believing that it's something that it's not. And you, your fantasies get a bit more warped and all that. Thank God I never went around some of those. Them not. Trust me. Because Uncle Yami could know the difference. I would say, my days, it's heightened, but it doesn't rise. It's all a muggy turnout, mate. You can go for hours when you're clean if you want to be a stallion that much. Come on, get over yourself. I'm telling you, disco. It's all bullshit, man. You know what I mean? I know. All you had to do was talk, a couple of weeks ago, all you had to do was talk about it and my thing was coming out the roof. I was thinking, F it now. You've got to do something about it. It got so bad, I'll be honest with you, that when, when you don't release, you're going to get a headache. <laughs> no, when you release, you get a headache. Like something's going on, like everything's splattering in your brain. I thought, go to bed, I'm going to fall on the floor here. You know what I mean? It was madness. 
Oi, PP. You been there, really? Oi, PP, mate. I wish you not would have warned me about that. Good, a belly, Uncle Yummy, mate. Anything I look at, I was thinking, oh, I fancy you. I fancy you. I didn't go there, of course. But I was thinking at the time, but then you realise once you've been with a couple, not, I haven't been that promiscuous, right? Then you think, I've got to be honest with you, men, and I'll be honest with you, ladies, I don't know the difference with love and real connection yet. I'll be honest with you. I'm thinking I love you before the start of it, sexually, but once the sex has gone, I don't really fancy you as much as I thought, and then I see you again and I fancied you again. Have I got this thing wrong? Does it mean that I'm a narcissist, Gordon Bennett, or is it because I just don't understand and haven't been around the right person long enough to get a deep, deep connection to everyday life with the reality? All right, fine, thanks, so let's talk the real talk here. Uncle George warned me about it, uh, but it is. It's madness, isn't it? You lot should have told me, and now they're all running after me, all the ladies. I'm thinking, good, I've got to be careful here, because they've, oh, they'll get the hump with me in the end. So I think the, the Casanova days, I wanted to be there when I was younger. I don't think it's worth fulfilling as we get older, if you get what I mean. Pee pee, gunshot, yeah. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd was telling me the other day, Lloyd was talking to me the other day. My eyes were everywhere in that concert. I went like that, I loved her, I loved her, I loved her. He went, yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't. I goes, yeah, but she looks all right. He goes, yeah, but you said that about her and about her. Yummy, yeah, make up your mind, mate, it's too much. No, George, <laughs> you know what I mean? And whatever it is, they won't be able to accuse me of being a failure no more, that's for sure. <laughs> when I first come out, they're going to go, he wasn't that good with me. Yeah, you ain't come with me lately. Trust me, it'll be the end of the road for some of you. Trust me. This goes funny, in it? But I won't be like that. You know you're you know you me. I won't be. I'll work out those bits and stay in control because it eases as time goes on. Um, but then what am I going to do when it runs out? You know what I mean? Don't, is it better to be working or not? I wonder how it is for ladies. It must be the same. Must be the same. Oi, <laughs> Oi Disco. Come on, my girl. Deep. It's deep stuff, mate. Neil. I'm like, <laughs> I knew, what are you, Gordon Bennett? It feels like I'm reliving my childhood with it. It went never as good as that. Don't make me laugh. And uh, I, by fixation, I didn't, I, you know what, I'm young minded. You know what, I'm not going to be able to because it's the connection, it's that mother figure, it's all the things combined together of having some kind of, yeah, but I just want to hug you, I love you, and da 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 da. It's just way out of, you know what I mean? It's just over the top, mate. So now, you know what I do? I stand back, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? Keep the thoughts up there to yourself, innit? You know? Because um, they'll judge you on how you behave around women in general, won't they? If you start looking everywhere while they're interested, you said you was interested then, and you start looking around at everyone else, you're at the front door, ain't you? Oh, you lot could have told me that bit as well. Um, oh, thanks, Kenzie. I just talk the real talk up here on Yummy BTV. I ain't got time for the bollocks, man. You know, I'll tell you lot exactly what I'm going through and what's happened. You know what I mean? I've got some more jokes here, but I don't want to say it because you know, just keep falling on the floor laughing. Gordon Bennett, mate. After all, I haven't committed no crimes. I would never go, I would never lose self control enough where I would try and pressure anyone into anything. I'm sensible enough for that. I've got my morals. I know how to behave. No means no and blah. But hold on a minute. It's not me that's actually trying to get you. It's all of you lot trying to get me. Gordon Bennett, it gets frightening because I'm not forward like that. I don't walk up to ladies and start giving it the old cheesy lines and all. That. It's not my kind of style. It takes me long to see a green light, if you get what I mean. And they're probably watching now and saying, you little bastard and all that. But what do you want me to say? I didn't promise nobody nothing. You know what I mean? I know, disco. I was always a ladies' man, weren't I? Disco. I missed out on all that. The living sweet boy when I was little, but I didn't have the confidence. I was too shy, you know what I mean? But now, but now, Gordon Bennett, mate, don't make me laugh. Henry without someone saying, I know, oi, Henry, you know the answer to that, Big Don? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. If you know that it's getting, it always goes wrong in that place in particular, don't go there and you won't meet them. But you need that long period before you get stronger. I was somewhere the other day and there was all drinking and that. I had one or two drinks and I didn't really like it. To be honest, man, and the behaviours and everything, you outgrow it all, Henry. To see people a certain way, you know, it's up to people. You get a good time, you can handle it, and you're not going to go on drugs. It's up to you. But ultimately, I love you, everybody. You know, it's all the sense of false sense of security at the time. Everybody loves everyone until they wake up in the morning, believe you me. Yeah, Benji, fire six, uh, 
the very first time by fire fixation. Don't make me laugh. I'm not missing out. I won't be missing out. I'm not married to anyone. I'm single. You know what I mean? But I'll be making, I'll be making careful choices. I'm hoping the right one comes along for me. I'm glad I haven't been with every Tom, Dick and Harry, even though there were times when I wished that I did. But certain circumstances I learned to hold back. When you look at someone, you think, all right, yeah, 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 I'll go. I might go around and show, but you wait. Do you see their behaviour? It's a bit, bit strange and obsessive or whatever. And you think that they might be, you know, I mean, not the same men and women alike, but there are some lunatics out there just to make you all aware of that. Uh, but you've got to get up early to get me. Matt Carter, don't make any pro I don't make no promises. I don't say anything. I remember at first, I was telling everyone I loved them and then someone said, Yanni, they don't take it in the way, some might take it in the wrong way. But I said, yeah, but I love everybody. They said, it's not the same thing. They might actually believe that you love them on the first day. I said, yeah, but I did. I said, I didn't love them at that particular moment. Uh, they said, how did you feel the next day? I said, well, I didn't love them as the same as I thought I did the day before. I said, what do you want, which way do you want me to answer it? For everything else say, come on, man. Oi, it's bit. Oi, but I missed out because disco. When I came out, I was still on and off, weren't I? It wasn't. It wasn't up to scratch. I'm afraid, darling. Oi, Vincent, don't make me laugh. Don't make me kill. Don't, don't, don't make me laugh. Oi, that's a good one, Vincent Murray. Don't kill me. I know. I know. I know. I've got to keep it real. If it's new experiences for me, it's never happened. Happened to me. It happened in there when I was coming off stuff, and after a month in it, then it starts, you start thinking, cool, then Bennett, what's happening there? Cool. It's dangerous ground, honestly, mate. Edward is definitely, never, you never know, do you? Until, this is what I tell you about substances and all that. It can do some terrible things to people and make them make some really bad decisions that they're going to, remember, the fantasy could always be all right, but if it means you're harming, or it's going to cause a crime, or it's illegal, you can't do it. And many have failed because their emotions and their heightened exterior and all that are heightened and they can't control what's going on down there and they make, make some terrible errors that they might not have made if they wasn't on drugs or they might when they're coming off them and you get even more silly and you think, well, Gordon Bennett, that seems a good idea at the time. Be careful with what you do. At least I've never made those mistakes in life, right? So we got them ones there sorted. You know, I mean, many men have failed those ones there out here. I've been very surprised by certain things uh what i've seen what i've heard um with you know with that kind of stuff it's very very um upsetting for me in the moral standards but then they'll be coming back saying yeah but things have changed now everyone's at it it works don't matter you know what's right and you know what's wrong and anything that could leave somebody traumatized forever and ever and even yourselves because it stays in your conscience if you do bad things as far as i know and that will be the downfall of many, many men and has been too because you've got to live Lloyd in it, PP, with the things that you've done and many a thing in the dark will come to light and which is why as well people take their own lives word, you know what I mean? Certain times um, it's more looking at the, the broader around things. I've seen it from many, many people. Um, they can't live with what's gone on and probably their behaviour or others' behaviour and they call time on certain things. Disco, very bad, very bad. I don't know how they get away with it. To be honest, on some of those, it's bad, bad. That's why they've got new laws coming in um, for those that um, put in pictures of ladies sleeping, that kind of stuff. And then you're allowed to, you get nicked for that. Some of you, you're not allowed to put um, pictures of people up of nudity and that kind of stuff and exposing people in that way to a world wide that can cause them to commit suicide. There's going to be many crimes that come out of those things, Disco, and it's about time they change them. Yami B says, good for that. What do you mean, um, Alex? Alex, in what way, sir? What do you mean? I know, it's terrible, Benji. Yeah, well, Benji, it's all about the control because you can get carried away. We think this is why drugs are dangerous as well. You start thinking of all, ooh, no, 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 no. I'll stay as I am. It's levelled out. It's levelled out now, level playing field. Um, it's meant to be a two-way thing and enjoyable. There's nothing wrong with, you know what I mean, having a partner or whatever and doing the best you can at it and doing it in the best way that you've worked out how to do it and being creative and all that. That's between you and your partner, mate. 
Um, but you can't go and do that everywhere. And people, if you, you're too good at it, then when you leave, they'll be upset with you as well. You've got to be careful with that bit as well. Or if I had that baby, not, not, not say it's big baby, that as well. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's like anything else. You want to be the best at football, you want to be the best at that as well. Um, there's nothing worse than not taking pleasure in yourself, but you don't want to, you don't want to give it back in return. Come on, boys, you got to be, you got to be up for that. We know the rules about that. You don't want them talking about you afterwards, do you? You know what I mean? Oh, you weren't no good and all that. He was a load of shit. You know what I mean? Mind you, some might say you were a load of shit when you was really good. I oh, know it could work either way. You know exactly what I mean, man. And we're talking ladies and men alike. Remember that. Um, but after all, it is only just sex it's not the be all and end all to real significant relationships you need to have those other bits in there as well um, to make a relationship work it will never be based on just sex alone unless that's of course what you're both just looking for after all then it only becomes a sexual relationship got it yeah love your first love yourself first you are all valued remember that don't let them. you know I was thinking rejection. You get some people they think they feel really hard done by when their lady leaves or their man leaves, and we think, oh God, they didn't want me, and what am I gonna do next? Look, the reality of it for every rejection that you get, yeah, from someone, the person that's doing the rejecting will have to experience it somewhere else too. So you're never gonna be without feeling that you're not wanted or time's passed and people feel the same way, don't feel the same way as they once did. Uh, but in reality, um, that's their call. You can never force anyone to feel anything for you, boys and girls. Remember that. There's no good pestering, no good driving them mad. If anything, it's more of an off-putting thing. You've got to have your moral standards and you've got to keep it proper to yourself. If it's no and it's over, it's over. You walk away, plenty more fish in the sea. I know, hard, hard, isn't it? It's hard when it's been going on a long time, long-term relationships, but that's not enough for you to say, you know what I mean? There's no more life or chances left for me. Uh, I've seen many of old people who want to still go out and still enjoy themselves, still try and chance their arm. Just because somebody's left you, it doesn't mean that you can't find happiness. Don't make me laugh, man. Nah, disco. Nah, nah. You can't. You know that it's, it's part of it. You can't force people's feelings. You know what I mean? You've got to know those bits by now. And just because they say no, it doesn't mean it just means that they don't want you. And there'll be times when you don't want someone. Yeah, how did they feel? Nobody likes being lost. We was asked Lloyd. We was watching birds getting chatted up, ladies, sorry, getting chatted up by men in the concert, and they were getting rebuffed. And it was embarrassing. Go to bed, it, mate. I'm not walking up to a lady just because she's drunk and trying it on and it looks really, really a bit cheesy. And then the lady ended up grabbing him because he couldn't take no for an answer. You know what I mean? You're thinking too highly of yourself. You're underestimating or looking down on drunken ladies or, you know, men, women who days all throwing themselves about. They weren't doing that. They were quite clearly telling you that they weren't interested in it, Lloyd. And they didn't want to listen. I liked her. I liked her. I liked her. But I never went and told them. Come on, man. You know what I mean? They're probably going through their own hurt and experiences and not going out to be pulled and all that, man. Read between the lines. This is what I mean about alcohol and things. And then, yeah. Years ago. More to you about Neil. We... Oi, Kiki, Kiki, nice one, son. Nice one. Yeah, you too. I know. It's mad, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? It's fucking... I'm some men, I don't know, and he, he thought... He, Lloyd, you see, he thought he was the great Casanova and putting his hand... Gordon Bennett, everyone was watching, and then they was laughing at him. Gordon Bennett, mate. That's a mad, mad move. You've got to have your integrity and morals intact. You will always know when a lady likes you. Trust me. It's easy. If there's going to be me. It takes me about 10 nods to look at me, and I think, oh, the green light's there. But then I think, is it or isn't it? And they say, it is. And I say, well, I'm not too sure, man. And then they'll come to you. If they're really that interested, they can walk up to you. I know ladies, some ladies like men doing all the chasing. Mm, I don't think I'm a great chaser, to be honest. I, oh, I always read between the lines this go, I think, well, they're not showing interest, so that means they're not. But like they were saying the other night, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It might mean that they like you, but they don't want to be, you know, subject to you bringing it up another, when you feel together years later, say, well, you was the one that was pestering me. You know what I mean? They might have their integrity and they might wait for you to make it. So no, it, it depends what moral, old morals or new morals you've got, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't pester. Pester for what, man? Oi, you laughing? Uh, uh, 
You're laughing, you know. You know Uncle Yab is breaking down the real talk here. Come on, let's get it in, Glenn. Um, overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. You're making it look like something. I'm not about to try all that, Glenn. I know stupid. You're mad. You never get that in your head. You think there's loads. I look out and think, I really like her, you know. God, I bet it. If only I could go there for the night. But it's just a thought, Sam. There's nothing wrong with having them thoughts. She's really nice, she is. You can even tell her, you look nice, you know. Just go, ah, sweet. You don't have to go up there touching all over. And you know what I mean? Unless you're in a place. You will know someone wants to dance with you. They start coming round you, didn't they? And they start getting close. Even then, you've got to be careful because there's alcohol involved as well. You work out all these things as time goes on. Russell Linton, Henry, come out as a gang. Oh, Henry is funny, isn't it? Henry Clark, come on, my boy. Oi, Edward, know that, you lot. And if you don't know some of you watching, carry yourself proper, mate. Don't get, even when I've been drunk, I think, boy, but I'm not going to go. You know if someone wants to hug you or not, man. When I first come out, I got barred from the bar around the corner. I said to him, you look, but gave the bar, I gave him a tip, a tenner, right? And then when I was leaving, I was sweating everywhere coming out. And I gave a little hug. I said, you look, remind me of someone, you know, I really love you. I said, have a good day, blah, blah. They barred me. They said, you're not allowed to hug no one no more. I said, you know what? I'm never going to do that again because I'm a bit like Matt Legs to say he likes hugging people because he's a happy geezer when he's had a drink. Not because you, you want, you're making sexual advances or whatever. You're just feeling really happy. But people will hold it against you. And I'm telling you, never get that love of Uncle Yami again. Ever. I will know my ground now. I'll stay in. It's scary. What can happen? Oh, they come near me. But I'll add ones where they're hugging you. And then you can put your arm. Oh, hey, what are you doing? But hold on. You was the one doing. You know the best thing to do? Keep your distance until you really, you can always tell if it's genuine or whatever. Don't overdo it with the alcohol. No, it's deep, man. I'm not being made to feel like that. And I was just being happy and nice. You're mad. No, Johnny. No, never again. Never. I walked straight past you. And, Sorry about that, Yami. I didn't mean it. It was just that I was, I was thinking, thinking what? I never said anything to you inappropriate. I never touched you anywhere. I gave you a hug. Gordon Bennett, man, in front of a hundred people. All of a sudden it becomes a kidnap. And he was trying to take her hostage. No, oh, no way. You'll never get me again. Trust me. Never. Oh, again. Clear enough. Oh, if they make it clear, knows no. I've just told you. In the other night, Lloyd will tell you, the little lovely lady she was, she moved away when you was talking to her. Not Lloyd, but the people I'm talking about. That was the first time. Then you've done it again. She did it again, moved away. That means she's not listening. She's not interested. She's told you. If you don't get that, you're going to be on the Rule 43 wing, which is the nonsense wing in prison, mate. You've got to know the difference there. Come on, let's not mess about it. I know, oi, Matt, they, Matt, well, I'm not playing that bit there, Matt Carr. I'm telling you that, no way. And they do, innit? And this is why we talk about maturity, stay with your own age and do it the correct way and see it possible and see, get to know, see, I was rushing in at first and then I thought, but hold on, they don't deserve to be loved like that. I'm not saying that we're anything special, all of us, but to love everybody like that, I really love you and all that. They don't really deserve that kind of love from you like that, really, especially from Yami. If you don't want that and you're thinking it's something else, that's your business, yeah? But the best thing to do is wait and process it properly. Andrew Hyde, nice. Andrew, I love you, nice son. Good man. All right, Andrew Hyde. Oi, everyone's got Billy. I ain't being put in that position, mate. They done it on TikTok the other day. You missed it. I didn't know I let someone in the box. <laughs> everyone was going, Yami, don't let him in. I was like, Billy, he said, Yami, it's only me. What was the little young girl? I said, no, 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 no. I go, she goes, I want to sing a song. I said, let's get out. I said, get out. I'll never let no one in the box again. No, I don't know. But they was they kept it proper. They sang the song. A friend was in the comments. Yeah, I mean, please, we wouldn't do that to you. I said, boy, but you taught me something there again. I learned straight away. Don't get me involved. And don't come with no funny chat to me about anything. Any, if you're underage or your thing or whatever, I'll tell you straight away. You're too young, baby. I'm not for you. Do you break it down properly? Yeah, you don't succumb for desires and what you think might be an idea and it doesn't matter and all that. You've got your own moral standards to live by. Yeah, it's not the be all and end all just to get a bit of skirt or a woman get a man in a child, you know, a young boy in that way or vice versa. You know exactly what I mean, mate. Yeah, Billy, deep in it. Yeah, no, I learned, I learned. All I got to be told is once and me, and that's me, I'm out. It's not going to happen again. Yeah. 
If they, oh, hey, Neil, they put my PP, 100%, right? Yes, I could, good. Yeah, nice one. Oh, hey, um, Ed, is that you? Oh, oh, yeah, nice one, son. Enjoy your break. Yummy BTV, especially top form these days. Johnny Cash, yeah, I'm just saying, Glenn. Remember we spoke about it, Glenn? Uh, Benji. <laughs> What's your Benji? Call the Bennett, boy. Yeah, Disco, we love you. I know, I know. It always turns into something else, doesn't it, Disco? But I love you all, man. I've done an hour there. Gordon Ben, this is an hour as well, in true Uncle Yummy fashion. But I love you all dearly. Yeah, we learn as time goes along. Keep your standards. Keep your distance. I learned the hard way. They say, you know what they're saying now? I've changed. I said, I've changed. I'm not doing it the way that I was doing it. It was increasingly erratic and chaotic, coming off stuff and being disjointed. Now I'm being polite and nice. And listen, don't bring no stupidness near me. All of a sudden, I'm the one that's changed. What do you want me to do? You didn't really know me. We're all people after addiction. Don't get the addiction behavior and all that twisted. So we really are. I remember I told you. Yeah. Nice one, Glyn. I love you. I'll phone you like big up to the missus and the family. Ben, you'll be on the show soon. PP, I love you, my boy. Uncle George, I love you too. You're my auntie Sarah down there in Ireland. Dave Tiny, we love you down there in Ireland. Mo, we love you down there. Tyro, Sean and Sam Spencer, we love you down there. Lord, Lloyd Thomas, my boy, thanks for the concert. That was brilliant. Lloyd, boy, he was my security. Look at the size of him. Don't play about. You can't win, Billy. So you know what? You're out. You know that, Billy? Don't do it. Oh, don't come up to me another time and say, no, 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 Yami, I didn't mean it like that. I don't care. It's how you made me feel. I'm not falling for it again. Yeah? Yeah. Nice one. James, sorry, man. We're all parting now. Nice one, my book. I'll be down. I'll be up tomorrow. I'll try and do a video tonight, right? Brilliant life. I'll be up for you all tomorrow. I love you here, dearly. Peter DeVal, Neil 66, you was the greatest. Scott, you was my boy. Kenzie, my girl. Um, I love you dearly. Um, all of you who've been in the chat, absolutely magnificent. Fuck it. I didn't even want to.